Hey my friends, Matt from Rankliff Media here. Welcome to another DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve edit page, and also how to export the correct anamorphic widescreen aspect ratio, resolution for uploading to YouTube or social media or whatever it may be. Now to begin with, we're here on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve, and I have my anamorphic footage here on the left, in my media pool. Now this was shot in 1.8 times anamorphic with the Great Joy 50mm and it was also shot with a Blackmagic Pocket 6K and 16x9. Now to begin with, before we drop any footage into a timeline, we're going to go to this really helpful website right here called unravel.com.au. Now this is an aspect ratio cheat sheet and this is the website address right here and I will put that in the link description as well. And this is just a really helpful cheat sheet, it shows you all the different resolutions. So we've got 8K, uh, 6K, 5K, 4K, HD, and it shows you the correct aspect ratio and the correct resolution to, to use to get the proper anamorphic widescreen format. Now I'm gonna be going with the 239 to one aspect ratio, meaning that the width of the image is 2.39 times the height. And this is the, basically the standard for modern anamorphic widescreen. I like to upload my footage in 4K UHD. So even though I shot my footage in 6K, I'm gonna go to the 4K UHD aspect ratio cheat sheet. And I'm just gonna scroll down and you'll see that it has 2.39, which is 239 to one DCI scope. And it tells me the exact resolution right here to use. So in this case, I would create a timeline with a resolution of 3840 by 1608. Now you notice that uh, standard 4K UHD is usually 3840 by 2160. So the width, the resolution for the width doesn't actually change, it's just the height. So that, that's why the height is a lot narrower and you get the black bars top and bottom. Now you can also use 240. So both, both of these are very close to the uh, anamorphic widescreen format, the modern one. And if you wanted to maintain your 6K resolution or even your 8K resolution uh, for uploading anamorphic footage to like, you know, stock footage sites or whatever it may be, you can also find the resolutions for those right here as well. I'm just gonna go with this resolution right here. So 3840 by 1608. I wanna go back to DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 and I'm just gonna create a new timeline. So I'll go back to my master. I'll right click in here and go, Create new timeline. I call this anamorphic 4K UHD 25 frames per second. I won't tick use project settings because I'm going to create custom format. Now I'm just going to go to here and input my resolution. So I want 3840 by 1608. Sorry, that's not correct. 1608. And I'm going to leave this timeline frame rate at 25. And I also want to leave scale entire image to fit, like so, because that's going to give me the correct settings. And that's all I need to change. It's very basic. I just hit create. And now I have my timeline. And I'll just drop in one of these clips. So I'm just going to drop in this clip right here in my timeline. And you'll see that when I drop it in, it's still squeezed. So anamorphic footage is squeezed on the horizontal axis. Now what do we do? Well, we want to de-squeeze this footage so it looks normal, so it has the correct aspect ratio. So all we need to do is open our inspector. We just go to this zoom X and Y, and at the moment it's linked, so that's going to scale up proportionally. If I change that, it's not going to do anything. Just go Command Z. So we want to unlink the X and Y, and we're just going to make this whatever we shot it in. So in this case, I'll type in 1.8 times, and now you'll see that when I go to full screen, it's the correct aspect ratio. So it's not squeezed anymore. It's been stretched out and now it looks proportionally right. If you shot your footage with a 1.33 times anamorphic lens, then you would just input 1.33. If you shot your footage with a 1.6 times, then you would input 1.6. So it's very straightforward. You might have shot in a two times anamorphic if you're really lucky in your own two times anamorphic lens. Now that's all there is to it. Um, it's very simple, very simple process. And once you've de-squeezed all your footage, uh, we'll just go to our deliver. When we deliver our footage, we export our footage. 
that's going to export as that resolution. You'll notice that when you open the clip or open the, the, the video edit when you exported it, it's going to look uh, really wide and narrow. But when you upload it to YouTube, it's going to automatically add the black bars top and bottom because it's going to upload in 4K UHD or whatever resolution you chose. So there's no more adding black bars in in DaVinci Resolve or whatever editing program you used to do it in. Well, that's all we've got time for guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all your support. It helps keep this channel going. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Thank you. Bye.